Um, yeah, um, incredible atmosphere. Um, it's uh, super cool that uh, we get to kick off the super regionals between us and Georgia and uh, have that kind of atmosphere. It was a really fun environment. They're a great team and always nice to get the first win, but it's going to be a, a fight here for the next two. And um, we know that uh, there's a cool opportunity ahead of us, but we got to stay grounded and really proud of um, the team. Uh, it was a really good team win. Uh, it was awesome. I mean, Kat did her thing, defense did their thing, offense started coming together, and our dugout was on fire um, coming off the bench, Autumn coming off, getting those extra 60 feet and that, that huge run for us. So I'm um, excited for day two. Questions? Kaylee, that was, um, you know, the third and the fifth inning. I mean, it was like my music playlist, hit after hit after hit. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> when you get going like that, I mean, do you feel like you get momentum that you're about to break the game open and that sort of thing? Yeah, I was um, pretty comfortable after the first at bat just because um, my teammates were able to share information with what they got to. So I think the communication in the dugout has been huge all season um, just to put together team at bats. Um, when I take it out of myself of trying to be big and just try to do something for the team, that's usually when I'm at my best. So I was just trying to get that run across for the team. So some of those runs. <laughs> Kayla, you're already in the ballpark, but on the television broadcast, we're talking about it's, you know this was a game of George's offense versus Florida State's defense. You know, did you? I know you didn't hear that because you're at the ballpark, but <laughs> did you want to show that this offense was also capable of doing something? Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm very very excited for our hitters to have that opportunity to face those good pitchers as well. Um, Georgia has a great defense and pitching staff as well, so just being able to compete. I mean, postseason softball is so fun because it's it's everybody's best at every every single pitch. So. Um, I, I'm really excited for our hitters to, to make some adjustments, get after tomorrow as well, but um, definitely going to be a fight as well. Uh, Catherine, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just a few days ago, you had the no hitter, but um, you know, only allowed what? You know, no hit. You had a no hitter, mm -hmm. and then um, the you know, threw a perfect yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> perfect game. Yeah. Yeah, threw a perfect game. Mm -hmm. So, um, how does it feel to to know that your you know on the offensive side they have your back? Um, you know, be able to get the bats hot. Yeah, it's huge. Um, it's a totally different feeling coming back on the field with a couple of runs on the board. Um, so just kind of allows everybody to kind of exhale, relax a little bit, and just go and just focus on getting outs just one at a time. But um, yeah, Georgia has a great offense, and they're definitely swinging hard tonight. So I mean, it was a good game. It was a fun, fun mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Kevin, after they, they scored their first run, and, and how do you how do you settle down and, and kind of get back and not let that bother you? Is that something that you've grown into through, through experience? Or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm definitely a competitor, so I don't like giving up runs. And um, you know, I think my freshman year, definitely, just or really throughout my entire career, just working on like not letting stuff like that get to me, um, keeping in just like one pitch mindset. So I think. Um, you know, we always talk about solo shots are okay. They're a home run hitting team. And um, I mean, I gave up a couple of hits, but the majority of them were singles. So if I'm giving up singles to a home run hitting team, that's pretty good. Um, but just trying to go out there and do my best to get my team back in the dugout so we can swing the bat. Kind of along those lines. Uh, it was kind of a different outing because you had, I mean, a lot of, there was a little more traffic on the base pass, obviously, but I think they were 0 for 11 against you with runners on base. I guess just what allowed you to be at your best in those kind of adverse moments, do you think? Yeah, um, I mean, again, they're a really good offense. Like, you've seen it all year from them. So I think just staying in that compete mode and, um, you know, I, I think that they're one of those offenses that you never quite get comfortable. So I wouldn't say that I was ever really, like, in a groove out there. It was just, you know, attacking every pitch, competing every pitch, um, staying in it with my defense, and, yeah, just staying in it. Kaylee, how beneficial is it driving Madison out of the circle and getting a chance to see Shelby, knowing you're probably going to see both of them again tomorrow? Yeah, that was huge. I mean, to be able to make their pitchers throw pitches. I mean, um, you know, having Kat in there most of the game and, and being able to give her a rest in the last inning is huge because we're able to get enough information, but they don't see her too much. So um, on the flip side, we were able to see both of their ace pitchers. So I definitely think we learned a lot of information and um, definitely huge for us hitters tomorrow. On the flip side of that, Lonnie, how valuable is it? I mean, having three pitchers that you used a lot this year who they didn't get to see tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, it'll be a different ball game tomorrow. You know, they're going to go home and they're going to make their adjustments. And so we got to do the same thing. So, again, it's all about knowledge. And, you know, we've been playing three game series for a long time now. So uh, I think that we've been battle tested in that part. And so, um, you know, I think we got a lot of weapons and you know, we'll, we'll figure out in the morning what we're going to go with. Coach, I have a question for you. Um, just just knowing that you have you have good pitching and then you have 
good hitting. How comfortable are you knowing that you have a very balanced team on each side of the ball? Yeah, I mean, that's this time of year. You know, there's so many teams that are really good. And, you know, um, sometimes it's really hard to, like, rely on one part of your game. So you've got to be able to have different different tools and different things stand up. So, you know, today we had a lot of double plays. We had a lot of uh, traffic on the bases, but our defense really got after some moments for us. And, I, you know, I think usually we rely maybe on pitching and the base running, and today was a lot of defensive plays. So when you can win different ways and you're okay um, – you know, coming out and, and really supporting your team and whatever it is you need to do, just being present. That's been the whole thing for us all year. So, um, so yeah, pretty excited about what we can do tomorrow and, and make the adjustments from the information we got today. Well, it seemed like, no, it seemed like there was mm -hmm. more line drives today. Is that yep. um, something that the ladies are doing differently or is that just kind of the way the balls are thrown? Line drives on our side? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah to, I mean, to to yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think, uh, you look at last weekend and we faced a lot of velocity. Walters has got some velo, but it's a little velo straight where velo was up last week. So, you know, you've got to really make sure that uh, you can tap through the ball on straight velocity. Um, you know, had some change ups, you know, that, that we could either work on sitting the hard or the soft. But when you get rise balls, you got to stay on top of it. So I think that's some adjustments that we were trying to make is make sure that we can stay through the ball. And, you know, if we can go gap to gap, that really helps us with our base running part of it too. So um, I think Mudge is probably one of the best to get after that piece and um, letting the barrel work. But um, yeah, I think it was just having quality at bats and, and really sticking to our plans. Um, that's something that the offense sat in here yesterday and really talked about, like, can we stick to our plans pitch by pitch and, you know, team by team or player by player. And I thought that was great today. Coach, you brought in Alley. Was that more because of pitch count or was it more you were trying to give them a different look? Uh, I mean, obviously we don't want to just like, you know, let them see Cat as much as when we have the relief, right? We have the relief there. But on the other side, you know, we've got really good arms and we need to use our arms and get them comfortable in a lot of moments. And um, Allie's, you know, hasn't been even used a lot lately. So to get back out there and get your feet wet in a competitive environment, like she showed so well today, was super, you know, comfortable in that environment. So now she gives us the option to, to come out again. So. Um, so yeah, it wasn't really stra strategic other than the fact that, you know, we wanted to give a little rest on the side. Lonnie, after only getting one run across after 14 innings on Sunday, falling behind early, mm -hmm. to have a, an inning where you put up a crooked number like that, just, I'm sure you were expecting that, but how good did it feel to, to win in this sort of fashion? Yeah, I mean, I didn't, didn't really know what to expect, honestly. Um, you know, I just knew that it was going to be a fight. Um, it definitely, like Kat said, I mean, Kuma's a good hitter. They're all good hitters. Um, we, we missed a spot, you know, so what? You know, that's what they're going to do and, and hit home runs and home run teams. So I think limiting the damage was big for us. Uh, and then being able to pour it on was, was huge for us on the offensive side. So um, there was a little nerves in the beginning. I think, in, you know, when we went out there, I, I know Kat even mentioned it, like we were playing a little, you know, nervous in the beginning. And then once we started swinging, then you could feel that nervous energy go away. And, you know, we were having fun. They were having fun. So... Um, so it's neat to see that really like um, that passion start to come out in a huge stage. You know, it's still a softball game. We've been doing this for how many months, but it's a huge stage and you could feel the energy of the crowd and um, just super cool as a coach to sit back and see these guys enjoy those moments and have fun with them. So, um, you know, I think that that was uh, really big for us to be able to put some numbers up there. We, you know, tested them. Are they going to keep Walters in or take her out? Who are we going to see? So, you know, that's the chess match that and the strategy that you have to go to. Got time for a couple more. Yeah. Kelly, Coach mentioned the, the atmosphere tonight, the prime time, night crowd, and everything. When you get your first big hit, can you can you can you sense that? Can you feel oh, it? Yeah. Your own I can definitely feel it. This yeah. is my first super regional at home, so uh, home field advantage is definitely a thing. And having a home crowd is nice compared to uh, 2021. We played in a really tough environment, but it's definitely fun to be at home. I mean, it's awesome that we earned the three seed to be able to host a regional and a super and. I mean, every time we do something good, we can just feel the crowd on our side, which is huge. I mean, the momentum, we always talk about Uncle Mo, and our momentum is, is on our side when we get hits and when we pitch well and make plays on defense. So it's a lot of fun playing at home. Kat, you held them to, I think, 0 for 12 with runners on base. Um, did you concentrate even harder when they got a hit and got on, or was it just one of those things where you're hitting your spots when they're on base? Um, yeah, I just focusing on you know just executing pitches but also I think with runners on base you, I just think a little bit more about what I'm trying to make the batter do so you know runner on first thinking ground ball left side to go for the double play whatever it is um, but coach and I debrief in between every inning so we have a pretty good idea of how we want to attack the hitters but I wouldn't 
I would say maybe I get a little more locked in with runners on base, um, but pretty much just trying to focus on executing pitches. One more. You good?